Hello everyone, I'm Dylan. Welcome back to my therapy. Ayaka is very desperate for her friend, and I feel bad every time she tries, because I do. If you're alone, you will only hate yourself more. You don't know what torture is. You don't know how scary it is. You know how painful it is. Don't leave me alone. Let's help each other. What? Kimiko threw her on the ground as softly as she could because she's being nice right now. She looked calm, but her body was started shaking when the legs started climbing. Well, uh, I guess there's not much more I could do. Let's just see how the festival is going. You can go guard the backyard behind the main building so that Yui doesn't go there to drink. This is your first assignment as student council members. Welcome. What? She can pick up a sick bag and she's right there with her shoulder. She's going to go to the shoulder because she's not going to get any sick. She's going to get a sick bag and she's going to get a sick bag and she's going to get a sick bag. Because she's not going to get a sick bag and she's going to get a sick bag. Ayaka lunged at Kimiko again, but she dies, Rose! I owe them ring boss. Kimiko literally ran away from us to the college. You better run away from me! How dare you, Ayaka! We are now mortal enemies. I don't care, actually. I already went on a date with her. Now, are we dating, or what's going on? Why did you stop me? I wanted to hug her! You have a task, fool! Dance, monkey, dance! Oh, yeah, right. Thank you. I can't believe it! I thought my mom... Started tripping some chiffre speech about her parents in school, but I don't, uh, don't want to hear about that right now. It's Kimiko! Where'd Kimiko go? She, she told her that she would kill her and she hugged her. I was just, okay. It's weird because that's literally what Kimiko told me. And, and then I was like, yeah, I love you. And she was like, oh, okay, that's strange. But for some reason, seeing it, through someone else's eyes, because I could do the same thing. Nah, I'm sure it's fine. Zara Udo! We went to the backyard. This place is really a scream, Yui Tojo. Because all the bushes, not the horrible graffiti, right? There was no space on the wall free from the sort of graffiti or stickers. There was a makeshift table and bitches made from tall trees. Alright, it stank of probably something horrible! Where are we? But it was taking place without us. Wasn't really interested. I like trying to share her happy emotions with me further, but to no avail. Chemical has obvious problems with her head. She understands it and misses them. They yeah, haven't about Kayaka. Okay. Chemical herself needs help. Yo! Chemical needs help. The bushes swayed and Yui had a breath jumped out of them. How'd you get here? Hello? Aha, good try, Jojo. Blah, blah, blah. Let me count. I'm telling you, you're sending me downstairs looking for you. She knows where we are. She's looking for you because she needs to help her carry equipment. Something broke. I get missing. What? I get missing. What's that mean? Listen, I said you were left here watching something at me, but there are more two. There are you two of you. If you go low, I'll do something wrong, and the one I'm telling you. Right, I guess. Whatever, I actually want to talk to Kimiko. I want to be around her. I want to spend my life with her. I want to eat spaghetti with her. I just want to... I just want to sit on the couch and watch a TV show with her. I don't want to do all the girl stuff. I mean, I do the girl stuff, but I didn't want to stop, stop to that. I want an actual relationship! Huh? Why is it so hard to make a actual relationship, huh? Whatever, I'll be back. You always smile in Echo's manner, and I quickly... Walk towards the stage. I don't trust you right now. Especially with those hamburgers! Can we go stand here? Hey, what's up? She emerged behind the stage. She's giant! You are the embodiment of a goddess, and I will spend my entire life hoping to make your life as good as you make mine. You called me? No. Oh. 
cool. I turn around to go back to Ayaki Anui, but she grabbed my hand. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Stay. <laughs> you owe me a serious talk, don't you? Mm, well, sure, did that happen earlier when we were on our date? <sighs> she did. Let's talk about you. Without letting go of my hand, she let me be on the stage. You look tired and angry, which is what I would describe myself as every day. You may be insane and trying to kill me, but I am too stupid to get away. Do you smoke? Nah. Uh, you see, I've seen my family die from lung cancer and stuff, and I don't really want to. I'll pass on that. No. Shame. She found that. Here we go. She got to figure question on the lighter. Watch your step. A seat next to our feet was a metal bucket tightly packed with countless pieces of paper. What is that? It's a metaphor. Okay. She threw the burning lighter into the bucket. What? It went out there mid-flight. Dang it. I wanted to epically set it on fire. She got a ladder and lit the flame manually. I summon you, Lord Cthulhu. Please help me find someone that loves me. The task is too much to ask. Uh, to do, good sir. Oh, would well, you want to hang out? I guess. What kind of games do you play? I play a lot of them, actually. Cool. Sweet. Add me on Steam, bro. Thanks, Cthulhu. I'm trying that work first try. But you know, it's also a metaphor, in a way. Metaphor for what? That I can't do anything. Or rather, I can, but not in the way I want. No matter what I do, I end up with some kind of mutilated parody of my original goal. THAT'S LIFE, BABY! For as long as I can remember, I've had ambitions for power. You mean, the girl from Chainsaw Man? I do have ambitions for her as well. I hope she... is doing alright. She's funny. I like her. Everywhere I went, I tried to accumulate as much of it as possible. I realized that very quickly I was very good looking. I can manipulate people for my own benefit. Now, I remember what my motivation was. And it seems that I explained it like it like this. I am better than others. Not like this. Others are worse than me. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. The world is populated by disgusting, cruel, pathetic people. It's much better if manage them and have their money. Yeah. Yeah, it's... The amount of garbage people outweighs the amount of recyclables. I don't know. Life is very unforgiving. I need them more. I would spend them better. The world would be a better place if I would be successful. Wherever I was, I found conversion in my work view. Now I must admit I understand that I was looking for various scum who pays miners for their attention. What? Now I see there are people around me who are not inferior. And it brings me unpleasant conclusion to my justification for seizing power where Brago is falling apart. I'm no better than others. You can't manage resources better than other people. I still believe that parasites BOM PEOPLE! BOM PEOPLE! They're in your house. They're in your skin. They shouldn't be there. Get them out. The skin will go back. It's even worse for me because maybe I'm the biggest, most voracious, and most disgusting parasite of them all. I steal money. I bully the weak. I manipulate those who have feelings for me. Yeah. You push the light, make me feel better. No, you do those things. 
What you are watching burn was the plan, or rather the plans for the performances that I made last summer for this festival. I started certain castles so I could show the forces I'm controlling the few structures. My excuse was that the other members couldn't do anything. My evidence that everyone else was meh. But nothing changed. Everything was exactly the same to for Tojuno and Eriko. All of the performances lure your interest to the snacks. Everything is done haphazardly. People were working just to get me off their backs. It seems so simple. I'm worthless. I should give up. I should stop. Cut my throat with a broken glass in the bathroom. No! What if it's not true? What if I'm actually the most successful and talented person ever? I just got a little confused. She's a little confused, but she means well. I know so many abuse people I think are better than others. I'm better than others because I steal money and abuse people. Ah! It's always been my bill go. This is my talent. This is my bankai. Something I was able to do from birth. That's disgusting! <laughs> yeah. I heard what you said to Ayaka. You don't want to be like that. Maybe. But I don't see a worthy alternative. By the way, we won't talk about this at all. You remember Ayaka and now we remember that I want to talk to you. Thank you for the evening. Kimiko, not totally at all, grabbed me by the back of my head and waves to put me closer to her. Oh no! This is how it's gonna be. I was using Yaka to take out my sick fantasies on her. And now I use you to feel like human again. A gentle and beloved woman. Okay. Okie dokie! What a book I am! Awesome! Why do you smell so bad? Ken's perfume. Hello, are you alive? I I am just really enjoying this moment right now. Also, you're very much crossing me with your massive proportions. I fought for the life of my mind to suffocate her chest. He's dying! No, he's alright! He's getting stronger! Blech. She laughed for a bit and let me go. I backed away for a couple of steps to take a breath. <gasps> no, put me back! I suppose it's over. Let's go. I'm tired of ref reflexivity. I'll start. I was to ultra violence. You're here because I told you, right? Right? She on a burning bug with her foot. Things burned half of her stocking. Nice. The fire under her died out relatively quickly, but not quickly enough for me to not notice she was shaking from pain. She took her leg out from the bucket. Honey? Why didn't you just flip the bucket over? Because the fire will suffocate without air. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can burn your leg if you want, but I wish you wouldn't do that because it, it hurts and it's bad. You are kind of crazy, but I love you. We walked behind the main building. Along the way, Kipiko cracked her neck and knuckles. What's there? Next, Knuckles, the echidna. Uh, uh, Sonic, give it for my emerald. Rouge? What's up? Here you are. I was really forgot about that. <laughs> and she overpowered me. She was tied up with duct tape. She's ill. Her socks. In an alternate universe, I would have wished that was me, but I have. Uh, <laughs> What's happening? Death in battle! Bala, here I come! There would be no battle. I'll just kill you. She grabbed one of the glass bottles on the table and hit the wooden table with all her might. She made that like the bottle out of Yui's hand. Yeah! She grabbed the tabletop with both hands and began to off the table. Tabletop gave her a quick, living with a hood roar in her hands. She reached above her hand and hit him go right on top of her head with all power she had. That doesn't work on me! 
Did she even move? Why? Whoa! You die! My turn! Show yours! Yeah! Chemical hook Yui by the neck. We can't choke her. This is fine. Gorge out Chemical's eyes. Tear her hair. No! Monkey! Get out of here, you monkey! Fight me like a monkey! I'm gonna untie Ya Yaka. Viva la Vuvia! She passed out. Enough? <laughs> I know it's enough! Her hands hung. Hey! She's gonna die! Keep it up! She'll pass out. She has a few good minutes. We need her to stay down till the morning. Blah. She fell down. And she fell into her own vomit. Lovely. What is this? It's Aika instead of Ayaka. It's fine, it's a yaka right there. Don't worry about that. She begins to rip the guy out of her mouth. No! Freeze! <laughs> I like it this way. Don't touch it until we're down here. <laughs> Take this body and throw it in the cellar. So we're accomplices then. Don't worry, I put mattress down there. Okay. I can already take in Yui's hands, so I took her muddy feet. We carried her to the cellar without much difficulty. The bomb was not visible. Drop her in! <laughs> Good job, girl. Right. Well, I think that's all. I'm very tired. Bye! Wait! I... Is there, by chance, some kind of task for the whole night? What? I... I can't go back to my dorm because awful things are happening! They're playing World of Warcraft! I'm just joking. It's a good game. I won't be able to sleep. Is Shimizu somewhere in the room? Yeah. No? <sighs> I'm feeling weak. I'm not going to deal with him tonight. Climb the trees. Dismantle the decorations that I get hung up childhood. Oh. See you all tomorrow. Sam's over to put a lock on them. Goodbye. Mm, she's a crazy one, but she's the love of my life. Also, you are scary. <laughs> Take off the sock mouth. She's probably crafty by now. Tell me that she's not on a couch. You can load. Yeah, you're drunk. Chemical sound praised me! Did you have a sock in your mouth? From, from Yui? She doesn't wash her hands. She doesn't wash her feet either, honey. You could probably go to the hospital right now. It's wonderful, baby! She choked me with her body. Rip the on trees. This is a crazy nightmare. How did I get involved in all this? So, it will. Ah! My legs! My freaking legs! Hi! You getting tired yet? No, it's been 10 minutes. I didn't sleep at all. We had the whole night ahead of us. We relaxed on the bench? You look tired. I'm tortured, man. Sit out on the bench. We're gonna work here all night. What do you want to tell me? I'm asleep. Oh, okay. Her head fell on my shoulder. I lay back. Good night. Well, I'm not afraid to replace Miss Presence. Her. I love her. She's insane. Yeah, but I love her. She's a crazy person. She wants to kill you. I love.
love her! <laughs> She's real, though. Oh, believe me. Communication with her more, and you will cease to exist, too. Wait. Maybe I misunderstood. Is this trying to reunite with her? Such an extravagant suicide attempt? I just want you to warn you, if you die, I will be with you. I will with you. Only darkest and empty is with us. That's right, bye. Right. Therefore, you gotta think what you want, but I'm just gonna trade in your survival. Thanks. Well, excuse me, princess. You're my enemy. I'm worried about you. She's dangerous. Yeah. You're an idiot. Yeah. Because you're about to feel She will use you if your roommate knows this. Yeah! Come on! No. I will let you destroy us. What are you gonna do? Nothing to worry about. Okay. What are you doing? Nothing! I can pass you out pretty well. Try more drink, Poach. What? I do. She is an insane, crazy goddess who will end up destroying me. But it's worth it. Hello there. Therapy here. Sales department. Cliffhanger, isn't it? What's Naomi up to? Ah, you could be the entire family of the brain. You're trying not to have atrocious. Rue and the other girl. The Maria Susceptions will develop the darkness. Is that the first time I saw it? Yes, it's not. The game's still in development. Leave feedback or I'll break your legs. Yes, ma'am. Came out rushed. Now there's big plans to connect. We will share as soon as possible. Please, if you like this game, subscribe and like this video and talk to the social networks and the contact section. The menu menu. Without our head. And now it worked. This is only the first act. And there'll be three acts in total. Support any way you can. Buy a soundtrack. It'll be available someday in DLC, yes, too. Shio and Sachiko, you say? Of course, yeah. And there's a, a couple more secret stuff on the Discord if you look it up. Thank you so much for making my game. Everybody joining the game? Oh my goodness. Everyone's like, Anime characters. That's cool. The goddamn peoples. Special thanks. Many anonymous. That's me probably. Now, as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you eventually. I got Kimiko. Now we can go eat spaghetti. We can go kart and. She can strangle me?